Hello world, welcome to the 76th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in my Python Flask playlist and the second video using Flask to build a Facebook chatbot. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as over half of my watch time for my channel is from non-subscribers. So in the previous video, I mentioned that my wife and I plan on opening up our own small business and I'd like Shane, the digital assistant my whole channel is about, to manage the business for us. And one of those duties will be to connect with potential customers over Facebook. So in the last video, we set up a Python flash shell get method and then we used a, uh, a program called ngrok to run a URL for us. And then uh, we connected to the Facebook developers console. In this video, we'll set up a post method so we can read and respond to messages over Facebook in a test development. So let's check out how that works. So first, we're going to run our Python Flask program. Okay, it's going to give us our localhost URL there. And then we're going to run our ngrok program. But if you search for it like that, make sure that you don't run the exec um, executable file straight from there. Make sure you open from its location. Okay, then we're going to set up our own host. All right, and then it gives us this URL that we're going to copy and paste. Then we're going to go to the Facebook developers app. And remember, every time you run this, you have to put in the new URL that ngrok gives you and then pass it your uh, verify token, which you could just make up yourself. All right, so let's go to this. Uh, let me move my head real quick so you can see the responses. So we just did a get method to verify. That's what we did in the last video. So now let's check this out. So this is my personal account and we're going to message the Financial Genome Project, which is my economics and finance website that I've kind of stopped posting to. And first, we're going to try this test. All right, it says test successful, and I just got a Facebook message. Now let's try what are your hours. OK, it responds back. We're open on these days at these hours. I haven't programmed any farther than that. And then let's put great. See you then. There you go. It says, see you soon. All right, that's all the conversation I really programmed into it. So let's exit out of this real quick. And so we can run through the code. And then let's stop this. As you can see, the three post methods that I did, that's when I um, sent my messages. So let's close that. All right, great, it worked perfectly. So let's uh, check out the code now. So um, please make sure you watch the first video um, or the second video in this playlist, but the previous video. And so the new thing that we did is this from Pi Messenger import bot. So you're gonna have to pip install Pi Messenger, then import it like this. And this is a uh, Python wrapper that um, interfaces with the Facebook. Then call this bot, lowercase bot equals uppercase bot, and pass it your page access token. We discussed this in the first, in the previous video, but since I run a YouTube channel, I store all of my tokens and APIs and passwords in a separate Python file called keys. All right, so you're going to pass it the page access token. 
This is the verify token that we talked about in the previous video that you just saw me pass. All right, then we um, are going to process the message, and that's how it knew how to respond. Now, in the future, um, I'll post a link to the playlist description in the description below, but I plan on using the NLTK chat that um, I've done videos on before for handling the message script. So um, first, I want all the messages to be lowercase. It's just easier to deal with messages like that. And as you saw, if that message that we are going to get, and I'll show you below, was test, we showed test successful. If it was what are your hours, then you saw that. And then everything else was see you soon. And then we're going to return that response each time. All right, and this is where we changed from the previous video. So we added this, the post method. This is all the same right here, the get method. But now, if the request.method equals post, which is what every time you um, somebody posts to you, right, they're sending messages to you, then we are going to um, assign a variable called payload and in that request it's going to pass us a JSON right we want it to be a JSON file and then for that's going to be a separate event right so we establish a variable called event from this payload we want entry then the zero with column and then messaging right now you can print the whole payload in JSON yourself using pretty print and you can see everything, all the information you get. But just for this video, this is all we're going to take out. Oops, what did I do? Then for each message in the event, right? So the event is here. So for each message, I want just the text. So the text equals the message and text key of this message right here. I also want the sender ID because it's required in the Pi Messenger argument. So out of that message, we want the sender ID. So this is the key right here, the sender, and then ID is the information we want. And again, you can print the text and the sender ID just to see what those look like if you wanted to. And then we're going to assign a variable response equals then the process message and we're going to pass it this, the text. That will bring you back up to what we just covered, and this is where I will implement the NLTK chat. And um, like I said, I'll have a link in the description. So then we are going to use the Pi Messenger to send a text message. And the two required arguments are the sender ID, which we got up here, and then the response. Then we're going to return message received. So if this was a um, Behind the scenes, you know, a back end website, uh, I could save this to a log. So I could done logging and just said message received and then print the message so people can see. If I want to go back and do quality control, I can see the message. And then else, we're going to return 200. So if it's not a post and if it's not a get, that just means we successfully connected and nothing is happening. All right, so that's pretty much it. So I hope you find this useful. Now, since um, I haven't applied, I don't have my business set up yet. I don't have a website for this. I do have a website for this. But um, this is just in test and development stage right here. And as an administrator, Facebook allows you to communicate with yourself. So every time I run this program, I have to establish a new ngrok URL. You will have to pass your own callback URL from a website server. So I use InMotion Hosting for my financial genome project.net website. I can set up my own callback URL and verify token. So that way the website, and that's what I'll do for my small business, is it will have its own website that can handle this 24-7. And then you'll also want to edit which fields you want. So once you have a real functioning chatbot, you can add all of these um, functions to it. So your uh, chatbot has access to all of this right here. So for the purpose of this video, we just needed the messages. And you'll see here one field. OK, you also have to subscribe to what kind of reviews you want. 
right here. And so if you have your own small business already, it's an official business, you already have your website set up to handle post and get methods, you can finish this uh, application with the Facebook developers and actually publish your app. And then people, Facebook represent, um, recommends a hybrid where it's half chatbot, half user experience, but I would love to get to a point where it passes a mini Turing test and potential customers don't know that it is a chatbot. So um, that's the eventual goal. Um, if you plan on using this code, please leave a comment and show me your website so I can uh, experiment with it and um, track your progress. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.